Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to check out another WebKit exploit that I came across today. I thought I'd share it with you. We're going to try it on my older firmware PS5, and then we're going to put it on with the uh, the newest firmware and see how well it works. Uh, yeah, so let's just jump right into it. So right now we're on the uh, the old firmware PlayStation 5. So we'll go ahead and we'll jump down to our system system software console information and you can see there that I am on 2101-03000038-1 okay so let's just uh, back out of here we're gonna go ahead and open up our browser we're using Alizif's DNS um, if you're not familiar with that you can check out my previous video and it shows how to set it all up but uh, once you do have the DNS's in, we can go into user guide. And then we're just going to press L2 twice. And then we'll be able to type in the URL. So just give me one moment here to get on there. We'll go right to the end. We'll leave the HTTP part there. We'll go Z. Oh, I have it here from previous. GitHub.io. And we'll go ahead and hit submit. Okay, so these were the other two that we tried in the previous video. Um, we can go ahead and try them again just to show that they don't work. So if we get the uh, face font set, it's not defined. And obviously it's it's been patched on this firmware, so we'll go ahead and hit OK. And you can see that uh, it doesn't grab the face font. Or the font face, I should say. Or the face, uh, font face. Uh, ah, it's tongue twister. Font face set. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And we'll hit OK. We'll try the other one. So we'll go ahead and try this. And this here basically just says the bug is patched if you get memory error. And I believe I do get the memory error. So, And there's not enough free memory. So we'll hit OK. Now with this, this newer WebKit, uh, I will leave a link in the description for the, the source for this, but uh, it's the the heap used to use after free. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just hit X on it. It'll say press OK and then hit press any key. We can go ahead and hit R1. So we'll go ahead and hit X for OK and then we'll hit R1. And the WebKit works perfectly on this version. I do get a memory error after. I don't think that is a uh, big concern. I did try it a few times and sometimes that memory error comes up and sometimes it doesn't so um, yeah so we go ahead and try it again here hit X and then R1 works perfect X uh, maybe it'll come up again but yeah let's go ahead and switch over to my other PS5 which has the latest firmware on it and we'll go from there Okay, so now that we're over to the other PS5, we'll go into settings and we'll just show you what firmware I'm on. We'll go to system, we'll go to software and console information. And you can see there I'm on 2102-04020002. I'm not too fond about these firmwares, but uh, yeah, they're a little confusing, but you can get the general idea how they go. Um, this is the latest firmware for PS5. Um, I'm able to actually go online and the way that we will be bringing up the browser is if we just go ahead and send a message to a friend with the link we should be able to bring up the website. So I have it here. I just sent it to one of my friends. Go ahead and select it and as you can see it brings up the the website. So if we go ahead and choose the first one we'll probably get the same error message because it's a patch for this here WebKit. So as you can see, font font face and font face set. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next one. And this one just gives us a, the out of memory error. We'll give it a couple of seconds. There we go. And then we'll choose the last one, which is the, uh, the new WebKit. So we'll go ahead and choose that. So we'll go ahead and X for OK, and then we'll hit R1. And the WebKit works perfectly on this version. So we'll hit OK. I think we do get a memory error afterwards. So give that a couple of seconds. And there we go. 
Um, yeah, so I just want to jump on and show you guys this here. You can give it a try. Uh, leave a comment down below what comes up when you hit it. Um, I will leave a link for this here, this here link, as well as the source where this web kit came from, the heap use after free. But yeah, I'll leave the video at that. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.